Hello good people, it's another Friday, good to see you. I hope the week went well. I'm super excited about this short video. If you've been following Finance Skills Hub for a while, some time back we did a webinar on Mail Merge. A Mail Merge allows you to link one Word document to a database. It could be in Excel. And you are able to print or see several versions of that Word document. And you do this by changing certain parts of your document. It's usually helpful when you have a series of, let's say, letters or notes that you want to give out, thank you letters, bills, invoices, and all that. But in this particular video, we want to show you how to do a mail merge that allows you to place two versions of that Word document in one page and still be able to print in bulk or see the different versions of that document. So let's head to Word and see how this is going to be done. So this is a very short letter I want to send to subscribers. Now, it's just about some few lines, but I have another database in Excel that has a list of these subscribers, their balance, and then their branch. So this is the database. It could be in any database, but I have chosen Excel. The idea is that if I fit in the name column, the amount column, I should be able to print all eight at a go, okay, or see all eight in a PDF. But it's a trick. Because it's a very short letter, I want to be able to fit a second version in this page so that I'm still able to see, example, Francis Oinhines and Ellen Dente on just this page. But I'm able to get the rest. So we start off with mail merge. You should have your letter on standby. You have an idea where you are going to fill in. So here we are filling in three fields. So once you have that, you go to mailings and then you go to select recipients. Okay, so over here you have use an existing list because you are connecting it to a database. So I would direct it to where my Excel file is. So I'll go to the desktop and then I have my Excel file here. Now when I open, I will get a list of the sheets in that workbook. So this is the name of the sheets that contains my database. Ideally, the first entry should start from A1 and you can check this box if your first row of data contains column headers. Okay. So I'll click OK and it now links to my Excel database. Now when you go to insert merge field, you see that name, amount and branch are available here. So the job is very simple. Dear, I'll highlight this space that I have allotted for the name and I'll go and insert name. Okay, so this is how it appears. When I do a preview, you see that it puts in Francis Ohine. Okay, if you need to insert a space like I have it here, you could just step after the R and then just space it out nicely. It's editable. Now, I come here, I insert my amount. So, this is going to be my amount. And then finally, I insert the branch for this particular subscriber. So, this is the branch. Okay, so let's preview and make the necessary co corrections. So for branch, I will space it out as well. And then we have that. So when we preview, we have something like this for one version. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to copy this control C and then leave out some space and then paste this one down here. So we now have two of these letters in one. We still have our mail merge fields in here. So we now have these two versions of the letter in one page. So what we are going to do is after pasting, we'll click just before the first one and then go to rules and then choose next record. Okay, so next record will ensure that 
what comes after the first one is going to be El Indente, while we maintain Francis Ohine in the first one. And that's all we need to do. Now, when we finish and merge, which you can do by going here, you can print this or you can send us an email message. So let's print this to PDF. And I want all the records, so I'll click OK. And then I'll choose print to PDF. So I'll click OK. And I'm going to save this. Find next notice. Okay, and then I'll save this. So now when I open my PDF, you see that I have the letter for each client. Okay, so nicely in the order I have it in the database. Okay, so just by putting next record before the second version, I'm now able to get the letter printed or displayed for all my seven clients here. You could have more, but the idea of mail merging is that instead of doing it over and over again, you can link it to this database and have just one PDF or send it as an email. Again, you can practice and add it to your list of Microsoft Office tricks. For more of these short videos, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list. We send videos directly to your Mondays and Fridays. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Girls Up. Please visit and subscribe or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend.